Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode Well, I will review an interesting, interesting Italian fashion fountain pen and probably if you watch my channel you already seen the review of this beautiful, beautiful Nazarello Gabrielli fountain pen This was specially made by the Italian firm Omas in the 1980s but also in the 1980s, Nazarello Gabrielli collaborated with the f famous firm Pilot in Japan. And uh, the result of their collaboration, it is this fountain pen. First of all, I bought this fountain pen secondhand and I did not pay a large sum of money. I paid around 100 lays or the equivalent of 20 euros or 20 US dollars. And I've recognized this fountain pen by this logo, which is present right at the top of the cap. And this is the logo, guys. This is the Nazarello Gabrielli logo, which um, I found also on the other pen made by Omas. You can see the same logo at the top of the cap. And uh, the, this episode will be for this Nazarello Gabrielli pen. Well, I recognize this as a Nazarello Gabrielli product by this logo, but I've also seen this interesting fact engraved or thermically engraved on the uh, grip section and we can see made in Japan. I hope you can see, let me zoom. And me, yes, made in Japan. And another interesting clue that this is made by the pilot company is the fact that when I open the barrel section by unscrewing it, we can see this interesting, interesting cartridge. At the end of the cartridge, we have pilot. So P I L pilot, you can see right there technically engraved at the end of the cartridge of course this is i believe a proprietary ink cartridge and thank god it was delivered to me with this ink cartridge we will refill it by using a medical syringe at the end of the video because i want to you to see how this wonderful wonderful fountain pen writes and let's talk about nazarello gabrielli guys I said, I said to you that this is a fashion fountain pen. Well, indeed, Nazarello Gabrielli is not an instrument manufacturer, and this is why it collaborated with Omas for this wonderful model you can see right here. And by the way, guys, I will leave its review right on the top of the screen so you can check it out. Of course, I will leave its review also at the end of this video. So they collaborated with the famous Italian producer Omas, but also with the famous pilot Japanese manufacturer. And they ended up with those quite interesting, slim uh, looking cartridge fillers. And I believe that this was a product of the 1980s. So about Nazarello Gabrielli. Well guys, Nazarello Gabrielli is an Italian clothing, perfume, accessories and leather goods company. It is today a brand that had uh, has gone through various acquisition, but it is owned today by uh, the Mucillo Group in uh, Beneveneto, Italy. In the 1980s, Nazarello Gabrielli reached its maximum expansions in all the sectors, and they were active in leather goods. And I acquired this on my last trip in Italy. You can see the same logo here. And this is a leather uh, carrier of uh, documents. And right here we have the brand Nazarello Gabrielli made in Italy. So they were quite active in the leather goods, uh, the clothing, the accessories. They also made diaries. And probably this is one of the reasons they also had the need to produce writing instruments in collaboration with great producers. Because with... Uh, those diaries you could also promote writing instruments and in the 1980s they opened lots of shops in various parts of italy i believe that those are products 
of uh, the 1980s and probably early 1990s and today we will be focusing on this wonderful wonderful slim fountain pen this is quite an elegant pen and uh, i will try to zoom on it you can see the finish the overall finish is in this gray mate but it has also some shiny silver finish right here at the top of the barrel and at the end of the cap they have also this wonderful wonderful clip which is also shiny uh, it is uh, nice in its construction and um, it gives uh, a vibe of uh, elegance and let me test it guys it is quite a functional clip as you can see interesting that we don't have any engravings on the clip no pilot just the nazarero gabrieli logo at the top of the cap the cap is a pressure fit cap and the only clue that this is a japanese made product we have engraved on this on the barrel but not pilot just only made in japan the nib is right over here and let me see if i can zoom on it guys so gently we can see the logo of nazarello gabrielli it is a steel nib no engravings no hallmarks of gold on it and uh, let me see i'm quite curious to see the other nib guys i'm not so sure if oh yes i believe that this this had a gold nib the other product and you will see on its review so probably trying to save some money they went with pilot and they ch they chosen a simple gold plated nib and not a, a solid gold nib on this pan and probably you can see guys we have this barrel and i love the fact that uh, this is a luxury product you can see here metal and also here metal so uh, and it reveals this nice looking uh, cartridge and let me see i think that yes by unscrewing it i i uh, removed it so look it's like this quite quite a large large part on uh, it i will fill it also with black ink and uh, i already shown you the pilot thermically engraved at the end of this plastic cartridge ink filler okay so now guys i will uh, leave the dimension of this beautiful beautiful pen on the screen and i will uh, change the angle of the camera guys for you to see better the writing sample but before i will do that i've uh, acquired from the free market this interesting interesting velvet box and on it we have engraved nazarello gabrielli and that uh, logo when i open it again nazarero gabrielli it lacked the main fountain pen but in it had those interesting items hidden at uh, the back of it and what is nice that we have this part that um, i think that it was designed for it to be replaced the top part of the pen and by doing this you can convert the writing instrument into a uh, roller ball and it had also this which is a mine let me put this here and interesting we have natalero gabrielli italy blue medium and also on it we have engraved natalero gabrielli so they probably made this also by outsourcing uh, it to a great manufacturer and let's return to the content of the box guys and if i'm not mistaken it has also this 
and I believe that these are ink cartridges, also Nazarello Gabrielli Italy. I've uh, yes, it definitely contains something. I've never opened this box, so this is the first time that I've uh, I will see its content. I'm quite curious, guys, to see. Let me try to open it without ruining it. And yes, we have ink cartridges. So these are the ink cartridges and they were made no engravings on them they certainly are not compatible with uh, the Japanese ones so definitely made probably by Oma especially for Nazarello Gabrielli and now guys I'm ready for the writing uh, sample I will change the angle of the camera and I will prepare my medical syringe to refill this cartridge with black ink. Okay guys, so I've changed the angle of the camera. Let me place the box aside. And now I will focus on this cartridge. And I have here a medical syringe. Please uh, be careful if you use a medical syringe back at home needle with care because this is not a blunt needle it is a medical needle so it's meant to be very very sharp so be careful when you use it for the ink i promise you a black ink and i have here pelican 4001 brilliant schwarz or brilliant black ink it's quite an affordable ink okay i have it here so guys, always, always shake the ink bottle before you use it. I will open it. Well, <laughs> it's not the first time that I've uh, this happens to me. So this little thing gets stuck on it. And I hope that... Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry for this guys, maybe I can find something to open it, let's try this, I don't want to, no it's just stuck there and unfortunately uh, it's not a problem, it's stuck there because um, I've made a mess of myself, I will gently clean myself but you can see that there's an opening there and I can insert the needle and I can retrieve some ink here. Let's remove the excess of it. And now I will simply insert the needle in this. Okay. And I'm starting to push on it. You can see the lever of the ink. I think I will, yes, I will leave a little space there. Let me place back this. Okay. And now I will place back the cap on the bottle. I will put this here. I will gently open the pilot Nazarello Gabrielli pen and okay I will insert this over here okay and uh, probably this will be the first time I will use this guys so let me clear the desk over here and I will place my notepad just over here, guys. Okay. Okay, like this. Now let me put also a source of light for you guys to see better what I am writing here. Okay, like this. And now I should be able to write with the pen, but first let me test it. So it's been 
time since since it was uh, not uh, used so uh, i don't know i will apply pressure on the cartridge and maybe yes the cartridge is quite quite fragile and it uh, leaves me to play, put pressure on it yes you probably can see a drop of ink and i will use that ink to start it up let's see if it will start let me clean the excess of ink and let me see if yes whoa let me tell you quite quite a smooth smooth writer and i hope that i will have that ink flow that i desperately need i've lost it so back again i will apply pressure to it and again it comes that ink from here okay let me see if i can write with it like it is uh, i'm searching yes for the barrel section i have here the barrel section i'm uh, okay let's see if we, we can post this yes it can uh, be posted so what do i have here i have a little zoom will be in order guys i have here a nazarello and i hate when this happens but uh, probably um i don't know let me see i certainly can't dip it in ink but i can use this excess of ink from here probably let's see let's see if i can uh, do something with it so without further delay let me zoom we have a nazarello Gabrieli okay this was made by pilot this particular pen made by pilot and it was made in Japan but it was made for this firm Lazzarello Gabrieli which is an Italian fashion brand so made in, uh, in japan by pilot judging by the way it writes it is an f nib for fine so it writes like a fine nib i'm uh, curious to see if we have some flex to this uh, steel nib by the way it's a steel nib gold plated let me see And you probably can see no flex to it no flex i can't say it is a wet nib but uh, it's not a dry nib it's just uh, a problem that uh, so um i can't say it is a wet wet nib i can show it to you right here like this so you can see quite a decent uh, decent uh, uh, ink flow and uh, based on the fact that it has a decent ink flow it should do also a signature quite well so you can see nice i like that this is a smooth nib it doesn't scratch although it is a fine fine nib so uh, I don't have many Japanese made pants in my collection. And now let me test if we have some line variants. So right over here, I'm not putting pressure on it. And right here, I'm starting to put pressure. So no visible line variants. So no line variants on this particular nib. Uh, okay, guys now let me see what else yes it's interesting let me see if we can reverse right with it and reverse writing 
maybe it needs a little deep in ink i'm not so sure but uh, I, we can't re no reverse writing let me see right now if i can well maybe you can reverse write with but for s short periods of time it writes in reverse like an extra fine one in comparison with the f it usually writes now guys let me tell you about the fox and i will try to write as uh, large as i can so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and you can see guys it is uh, quite quite a smooth writer it writes uh, like a fine and we are usually you know that the japanese producers they tend to create some names that write really really fine or extra fine in this case we have an interesting interesting pen i'm quite pleased with it it is an elegant smooth uh, stainless steel uh, pen it certainly reminds me of the parker um, pen with the same uh, air uh, brushed feeling to it and uh, this is quite a nice product probably from the peak of the nazarello gabrielli in the 1980s when uh, it uh, when this uh, italian fashion brand had uh, the glory days this is a wonderful wonderful pen and uh, it is really nice to see a comparison with between uh, european made uh, Nazarello Gabrielli by Omas and the uh, pilot version of it. Probably the first one was made uh, during the um, good old days of the Nazarello Gabrielli and this was a later model, probably from the 1990s when uh, they started to cut costs from a gold nib which this was, was fitted uh, for, to a uh, gold plated steel nib so this was my review guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel also check out my other channel free free market vintage finds where um, you will see where um, from flea markets and i usually acquire some nice nice fountain pens so check that channel out and uh, this was my review of the nazarello gabrielli made by pilot japan a quite elegant and smooth fountain pen i want to wish you to have a nice day my friends wherever you are i will see you again in the next episode till then bye bye and god bless you all my friends